I'm Jay Hutton from Tattoo Fixers and I'm a massive Liverpool fan. My dad is, is Liverpool through and through, so um, it started from when I was a kid, you know, he's he drilled into me about Liverpool and what it's all about and the history and stuff like that, so from a kid, you know, I've loved Liverpool and my love for it just grew from there. I'm a tattoo artist, I've, all, I've been a tattoo artist since I was 18. A few years ago I opened my own studio and then from there we, the TV show Tattoo Fixers came calling. Um, it was a new show, we started that up and uh, now we're nearly going into the second year, fourth season. We've become massive across the UK, so really cool. Danny. What's up, mate? You How are you? Yeah, good, good you? Yeah, very good. How's things? Thing. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, too bad cool. Things. Good, good stuff. Do you want to see, see the place? Let's do it, yeah. yeah. This is my station over here. It's cozy. Yeah, it's alright, innit? Yeah, it's nice, I like this. Couch from my house. It's a nice <laughs> I like it's it. It's alright, innit? So, uh, when, when are you due back? Um, I'm, well, I am actually I'm back now, um, but I'm not quite match fit yet. Um, right. I managed to get through my second 90 minutes oh, since my good. operation last year. So, oh, cool, cool. Um, you know, I'm making a lot of forwards. So not far, not far. Not too far. Yeah, excited? Getting, yeah, yeah, I'm excited, yeah. yeah. So should we go and have a talk about tattoos? Because you've got a bit of coverage, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> have a seat. Let's do it. So you, you look like you've got more tattoos than me. I don't know how many you've got, obviously, but yeah. um, I'm, I am quite covered. Um, yeah. I mean, I had this tattoo done a good five, six years ago now. Yeah. I thought to myself, I'm only going to get one sleeve, and then you, know, you I get the now. bug, don't you? You do. You my can't. back's done. Um, I've got to finish my lower back. I've got a lovely piece here of me and um, me and my dad. It was an old photo that I had years ago. Oh really? Um, it was just for me and him walking down the old cutway to my local rec recreation ground that I used to play oh, with really? my friends. I've made him a lot skinnier than he is. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, it's probably the most meaningful piece that yeah, I've got. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Um, and I've just recently had my hands started. Yeah. So. Have you got any on, on your legs? I don't. No, oh, yeah. my. Uh, my legs are too hairy, I think. I'll have, uh, have to shave them every few days to actually see the tattoo, so I'm um, staying away from it. Yeah. So, uh, how old were you when you got your first one? I was 18. Yeah, I was 18. You have to, st you have to stick to being 18. 18 is the legal age, and loads of people get them before they're 18, and they're the ones that regret their tattoos. They're the ones who always need them removed. Always, always. Your main customers. Do you know, yeah. <laughs> just when you think it doesn't get anywhere, someone else comes in and you think, Phew. but if someone's got something they're really unhappy with, it's amazing to just do something completely different that they want to show off. There's nothing, it's, that's, that's the ice on the cake. So obviously for people coming to see you needing yeah. obviously stuff fixing, yeah. they must be looking and thinking, there's nothing I can do with it. Yeah. yeah there's nothing. And then all of a yeah. sudden you just pull something out of the bag and when did you get into tattooing? To be honest, it's, the drawing is the only thing I was, I was really good at. So um, I don't actually know what I'd be doing now if I wasn't a tattoo artist. Mm. Um, but yeah, I started tattooing when I was 18. Right. Um, so yeah, did it all legit. So uh, do you get um, many people come in asking for portraits of players? I've done a portrait of Stevie G a few years ago. Yeah. When I was an apprentice, um, where I'm from, I live um, in North Wales, and where I live is like a seaside resort. Okay. So we get obviously a lot of different, ta all types of people coming down there, and a lot of football badges. You used right. to do a lot of that. Badges on the legs, the yeah. inside of the car. Inside the legs, some on the arms. But yeah. I'll tell you one thing, the Liverpool badge is one of the most intricate mm. and hardest do. If, someone, yeah. if someone used to come in and say, I want a Liverpool badge, I'd go. Yeah, I bet it's probably the most common though. Yeah, <laughs> eh? of course. Fan base is that big. So yeah. I, I always see on Instagram people tag me in pictures do they? a lot and, and you see a lot of tattoos on, on people's arms with the badge and legs. And Has anyone had your face yet? No. Has anyone had anything to do with you yet? No, um, <laughs> although when I got this sleeve, um, I went and showed my dad and uh, he was like, oh, can I get a matching one? I was like, no. <laughs> Your days are gone. Your days are gone. No, Dad. You force football year. on me. You don't chill. force your tattoos um, on me either. It's funny, actually, I'll tell you, because the other, the other day um, I sent him a message. I said, Dad, what do you think about me getting my hands tattooed? He went, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. For now, you, you, you can cover it all up when you've got a shirt on. I just sent him a picture. I already done it. I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know what he'd say. <clears throat> so, so what did he say when he realised you had it done? I can't say the, the uh. exact word that he said, um, but... Um, yeah, he laughed in the end. He has, does, he got, he has he got tattoos now? No, no. My dad, he, uh, he, he would like one now, yeah. I think, but um, no, I advise him not to. Do you know what my dad said to me? When I started tattooing, my dad said to me, he goes, if you get good, my dad my dad can't take pain. He wouldn't, he's got no tattoos. He's never had any interest in it. He goes, if you get good at tattooing, he goes, I'll let you do a portrait of Bill Shankly on me. So I was like, yeah, you all right. Better. So... I started doing portraits, so I said, you said to me, and he goes, you have to wait for you to get good. 
<laughs> wow. wow. That's his excuse, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's his excuse. excuse. By the way, you need, you need to, uh, you need to go on to get that. I'd just... love to do a portrait of Bill Shankly. Yeah? Yeah. So what, what's your plan now? Like, like obviously you come back from injury, and you're obviously going to get back in the first team. Um, so what's your what's your future plan? Um, obviously, I want to I want to be established. Yeah. I want to be established at Liverpool. Yeah. Um, as you say, when you when you sign for a club, you, you always want to succeed. You don't want to yeah. settle in and you know what you've achieved. And when I was a kid, I'd never never dreamed of playing for someone like Liverpool. Um, mm. But you know the journey never ends. You need to you need to keep improving and of course. keep working out every day. Yeah. Um, so that's the plan. And, you know, maybe maybe in the future we can we can link up in there, do some ink together. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hopefully, I'll see you soon at Anfield. Yeah, definitely, you'll definitely Tom see man. me there, mate. Definitely. <laughs>